She sat to meet her on the roof of Radi Khan. When I get there, I find a corn off. The roof was off limits to begin with, but now it's also part of a crime scene, as if I needed another reminder of the murder that took place here three weeks ago. I duck under the yellow tape and open the door. The lock is still broken. I can hardly breathe after running up the stairs to get here. As I gasp for air, I look across the stark white concrete. And naturally, my eyes go straight to the satellite sitting smack dab in the middle of the roof. Mary and Daru are just as surprised. What is that thing? I mean, it looks like Suzas' time machine. But there's something different about it. Suzas looked old and beat up. This one looks brand new. It's not stuck in the wall either. And besides, this is a beta warline where Sir's dystopia never forms. Susa has no reason to travel to 2010. That satellite shouldn't be here. And yet, I feel like I've seen it before. Where? When did I? Of course! It was at Dr. Nakanabashi's presentation! Uh, um, there we go. Right before the presentation started, Something shook the building like an earthquake, and when I went to check the roof, the satellite was sitting there. Though still confused, I approached the satellite. Just then, the hatch opens, and someone steps outside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really is her. The part time warrior. John Titer. Time traveler from 2036. Daru's daughter, who will be born seven years from now. I ask her the same question over the phone, but I can't help myself. I need answers. The way she puts it makes it sound like she's never met me before. And now that we're talking face to face, I realize that there's something very different about her. For starters, what's with all the camo? It looks dirty and worn, like she's been fighting in it for a while. She's even carrying a gun, for some reason, and I'm pretty sure it's not a replica. Is she really Amane Suzaha? Yeah, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This doesn't make sense. No, calm down. Fair this out, Okabe. You know that this is impossible. Suza can't be here. She left to, to she left to 1975 in her one-way time machine. She found the IBM 5100, made sure it would get to you, then passed away in the year 2000. So where did this girl come from? オカリンおじさんに頼みがあるの。Uncle? <laughs> we don't have time to humor Mayori's question. Suza walks up to me and looks me in the eye. Her expression is grim. The next words out of her mouth are the last thing I expected to hear. この世界線の未来では
私に協力して過去を変えてお願いな,なんだよそれなんなんだよそれは第三次世界大戦って大変だ大変だよいやつうかさタイムトラベラーってマジ釣りじゃなくて父さんは黙ってて<笑>と父さんはあびっくりした謎の美少女にいきなり父さん呼ばわりされたでござるどうせならお兄ちゃんと呼んでくれ<笑>だる待て待て待て待て待ってくれはあ、it's take a deep breath. Okay, let's figure this out. I turn to Susaha. So, when you are a person, you are a time machine. Susaha nods curtly. She hasn't smiled once. There is no hint of the cheerful Susaha I remember. Instead, I sense strength, conviction, and steel resolve. お前の父親が作ったのかそうだよスザーグランスザダルお前は一体どこから来た2036年から<笑> 1975年2000年を経由して経由だって That doesn't make any sense. She's obviously not in her 40s. Which means. <laughs> This isn't the Suzaha I know. But it is Suzaha. My wife. 違う未来から来た違う未来2036年はどんな状況なんだセルンによるディストピアは<笑>セルンって何ディストピアスーザーフラウンズ She doesn't know about Sir? That settles it She's definitely not the Susa I know さっき第三次世界大戦が起きると言ったよなそうその戦争で人類の総人口は10億人まで減ったのちょ10億ってえっと今の総人口って67億人ぐらいじゃなかったっけだとしたら57億人も死んだってこと核兵器が使われてねかつての冷戦構造にそっくりだったきっかけはタイムマシン EU とロシアによる開発競争が火種になってそれにアメリカまでが横やりを入れたから収拾がつかなくなった<笑>世界を滑る可能性を持つ夢の装置それを手に入れることは過去から未来までを全て支柱に収めるっていうことになるわけだからタイムトラベルアゲン It has the power to grant your dreams and at the same time destroy everything you love I know that better than anyone 2036年には戦争は終結してるけど地球はボロボロもうさ人がまともに住める世界じゃないんだ。It's unbelievable. In the future of the Alpha World Line, CERN used their time machine to fashion, the,、uh, fashion a dystopia where no one could oppose their rule. Suza traveled to the past to change that. She showed me how to escape that convergence. The result is this the Beta World Line. Here, CERN fails to complete its time machine. 
But instead, 5.7 billion people die in the fires of nuclear war. My legs fall beneath me. I sink to my knees. Mary kneels beside me and gently rubs my back. But I'm too stunned to respond to her kindness. I glare at Suzaha. Though I know it's absurd, part of me blames her. We saved Mayuri. We changed the future. And now, after everything we did, Suza 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 appears before me once again to say that wasn't enough. そんなのは知ってる。だったら分かるでしょ。このままじゃ 57 I reject her plea outright. Suza looks hurt, betrayed, like an abandoned puppy. How dare she look at me that way? I borrow Mary's shoulder and struggle back to my feet. I can't go back, not to the whirlwind where Mary dies. One person versus 5.7 billion. They can't be compared. Suza is staring at me in disbelief. Mayuri and Daru clearly don't know what to say. I haven't told them what happened, so they can't understand. つまり、おじさんは別のアトラクトフィールドにいたってこと。すごい。それが例のリーディングシュタイナーなんだね。なぜその名を<笑><笑> <笑>父さんから聞いてる。それに私もオカリンおじさんとは会ったことがあるんだ。未来でね。俺と。そっか。そしてそっちのアトラクトフィールドでも私は同じように2010年に来たんだね。A <笑> faint smile flickers across her face. Then she looks at me with renewed intensity. オカリンおじさん。今、おじさんは断るって言ったけど。そうだ。クリスの死は無駄にしない。マユリを殺させはしない。さっきから言ってる。そのクリスって。マキセクリスのことだよね。Here we go. Shock ripples through my body. What did she say? Save? Curse? But how? 
we no longer had the phone wave or the time leap machine. And even if we did, I could never leap that far back. <gasps> of course. I look over Suzah's shoulder at the object disguised as a satellite. Time machine. This is it came all the way from 2036. It should have no trouble going back a mere three weeks. Even better, this time machine can do what Alpha Suzaha's could not. It can travel to the future. I can go to July 28th, save Kurisu, and return to the present. No D-mails? <laughs> no time leaps? Genuine physical time travel! I can't refuse. I literally can't refuse. I saw this time machine once before, on July 28th, that fateful day. Shortly before Kurosu was killed, I saw it standing in this very spot, as sure as it is standing before me now. There's only one thing that can mean. It has already been established that this time machine will appear on that day, in this place. Even before I sent the first D-mail, my participation was assured. Even the thought of turning Suzaha down now is meaningless. Nothing is coincident. Everything is inedible. The royal vision makes me dizzy. It's like I don't have the tiniest atom of free will. Like my every action from the moment of my birth was planned for me by some cosmic force. The Space and Tween? <laughs> I'm gonna repeat that, sorry. The space between? Dono Atorakta Field Karamo, Isai Kansho Kenai, Tata Hitotsu no Sekai Sen, Susho, Stein's Gate. The name drop! <laughs> but that's the Chuni name I pulled out of my ass! It doesn't mean anything! Stein's Gate was a まだ誰も見たことのない未知の世界線らしいんだ。らしいって、それ誰かが観測したんじゃないん観測はされてないんだよね。だから未知なわけで。でも、シュタインズゲートの大バージェンスは、お父さんとオカリンおじさんとで、
2025年に亡くなった。<笑>だから真相はわからない父さんはオカリンおじさんの意思を継いでこの計画を実行するためにたった一人でタイムマシンを作り上げた That's my super hacker!Good <laughs> boy, Daru!Good boy, Daru! That's my super hacker.、Oh. He must have hacked into CERN and stolen the research, then used it to construct his own time machine. On the Alpha War Line, CERN killed Daru before he could complete the machine. But here, Daru was able to perfect his design. That's why it can go back to the future. At least, That seems the most likely explanation. Okari Oji san, so no Sekai Sen, Stein's Gate wa Michi te yu gurai da kara, donna mirai ga matte iru no ka, dare mo shira nai. Moshka shita ra, Dai san ji Sekai Tai Sen ga shu ketsu shita ato de, Distopia ga kouchiku sare ru ka mo shira nai. Moshka shita ra, マキセクリスはオカリンおじさんが助けた2日後とかに死んじゃうかもしれないもしかしたらオカリンおじさんは2025年じゃなくて1週間後に死んじゃうかもしれないでも同時にもしかしたら2036年になるまで第三次世界大戦も起きないしディストピアも構築されないかもしれないマキセクリスも他の誰も死なないかもしれない素晴らしい未来が待っているかもしれない少なくとも私がいた2036年でもなくアルファ世界線の私がいた2036年でもなくなるのは確か Is an unknown future really for the best? I would hate for the ending world to say, despite your best efforts, you made everything worse. Kursu can't be saved. I know that. Even if we change the past, convergence will ensure her death, just as it did for Mayuri. It's impossible. There's no way this plan can succeed. In the end, fate will win, as it always has. So, if you want to go to the next one, you will be able to go to the n e Um, <laughs> I, 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 I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I kinda, I'm kinda disturbed by this image of Suzaha right here. <laughs> Where's her nose? Where the fuck is her nose? Like, I can see the shine of the tip, but still, this looks so weird! It looks like the spot between her mouth and eyes is just a blank slate. <laughs> oh, fuck. Konoteo. Nigite. I look down at Suza's hand. Her skin is rough, her palm calloused. This cool, collected, Unsmiling Suzaha comes from a ruined world, from the ashes of a war that claimed over five billion lives. I can only imagine what she's been through. Kurisu. How I have dreamt of saving her, I would do anything, anything, to change her fate. But 
how do I know this invitation won't lead me into another maze of despair? あのね、マヨシーは今の話新聞カップなのです。でもね、その ちっとも想像できないけどな。ごちゃごちゃ細かいことはいいから、その女の子を助けることだけ考えればいいんじゃね。そうすれば、モテキ到来確定だし。ヨリエンダー、オフミンカーチ。バイ、イスナナフトオ
There are fewer controls than I expected. The inside definitely looks more refined than what I saw of Suzuha's time machine on the Alpha World Line. But one thing remains the same. The time display panel. A black screen with le red lettering. I guess that's just Daru's taste. When I hand it over, Suza casually tosses out. <laughs> when I hand it over, Suza casually tosses it out the hatch. What? <laughs> Interference? Oh, I see. We're going to July 28th, so there will be two of me, and if I bring it, two of my phone. I guess that could be a problem if I got a call or something. So time travelers really do need to be careful about what they bring to the past. I hear Mary and Daru cheering outside. They already caught my phone, thankfully. <laughs> Good job, Mary! I give them a final nod, then close the hatch. Silence engulfs us. Susa is operating the time display panel. She sets her designation, July 28, 2010, 11.50 a.m. I remember that Dr. Nakanabachi's presentation began at 12. たとえばここ。発表会中止とかになっちゃまずいでしょ。だから <笑> ジョンタイターああ。それ書いたの、私。ジョンタイターのことか。そう。2000年に飛んだ時に。そうか。The past has changed. Change back, I suppose, from my point of view. When I was on the Alpha World Line, I saw a tighter post on Ad Channel in real time. On this world line, those posts were made to an English BBS in the year 2000. Nothing can surprise me now. My brain's too busy trying to process all this new information. It feels like it's going to blow. Ever since I returned to this world line, I've avoided all news of Curse's murder. I was afraid of setting that result in stone. So I still don't know who killed Curse. I don't know how or why she died. I don't know anything at all. If I had known it would come to this, would I have looked things up? I ask myself that question. Answer is no. Oh, 
分起きるでもきっと抜け道があるはずその抜け道こそがシュタインズゲートの入り口なの So in the end it's a camel それと一つ忠告をドクター中鉢には気をつけてどういう意味私のいた2036年では第三次世界大戦が起きたって言ったよねその原因をたどっていくと中鉢論文に行き着くドクター中鉢が書いたっていうタイムマシンに関する文書なんだけどしかしヤズのタイムトラベル理論はジョン・タイターのパクリ Wait a minute ジョン・タイター sitting in front of me おつまりタイターがネットに書き込んだことは正しいということか一部に嘘は混ぜておいたから私が書き込んだ時はあんまり相手にされなかったんだけどまさか10年経って再評価されるとはね私の書いた理論をもとに独自の考えを加えたみたいその完成度はとても高いらしいんだとにかくドクター中鉢はマキセ・クリスの殺された会場にいたんだよねだから彼には注意しといて彼もまた世界線を大きく変えるキーマンのはずドクター中鉢 Important? Important? I thought he was just some con artist. Ja, Ikuyo. She to bed to Shimete. I look underneath my butt to find what looks like a car seatbelt. I wrap it around my waist and fix my body to the seat. Kiko, you never know. You never hot on the night. You mean it does something else? Wait, is this safe? Susanna leans forward and pushes a bright yellow button on the bottom of the panel. There are no windows, so I can't tell if the time machine is moving. It's only three hours, so I'm going to go to the next one. Susanna fastens her own seatbelt in size. I was born in 1975 years. 6時間ぐらいかかって暇で暇でしょうがなかったよ I guess time travelers have their own problems 23分だからあえて酸素マスクはしてないけどタイムトラベルの間この中は無酸素状態になるな我慢しろとここに Suza points to the center of the cylinder, the space between me and her. Air pocket got the kirino. So, when you're a mouth, it's gone to Okebasa. Jupun cry, a cocky de kiruake. No, most carini. Curis or school no spy star. Donor. Jitsu a son nani nanyo a nakata is run there, eh? もともと入れておいた燃料はギリギリだから2036年に帰る分の燃料もなかったりつまり世界線を変えられなかったら私はこの時代に残るしかないんだあでも心配しなくてもいいよ8月20日から7月28日への往復はさまだ2回ぐらいなら可能だから。So, what she's really saying is that we only have two chances. Nenryogan,Nainara.Doyate,Nisen,Sanjurokne,Nikaritsmurida.Kairu,Yotewa,Nainda,Yone.Steins,Gate,Oikitara.Konojidai,Nitaimutravel,Shtekuru,Yuan
but her expression is serious. This is the first time in weeks that we've spoken, but I just now realized something about her. Susa is pretty reckless, isn't she? Suddenly, there's a zapping sound and countless faint silver lights start floating around the cylinder. They look like moth dust, or powdered snow. The lights slowly change colors. Violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Back to silver. Violet, blue... The colors of the rainbow? I feel pressure on my entire body. Similar to the sensation you feel as you ascend in an elevator. In, a el in an elevator, you feel as if you're being pulled downwards. But instead, the time machine feels like it's pulling at my back. The feeling of pressure quickly increases. It starts to feel like I'm falling horizontally. I've never experienced anything like this. It's so uncomfortable. I want to scream. The strangest thing is that the time machine itself isn't shaking. In fact, it doesn't seem to be moving at all. There's no noise. No vibration. It's eerie. The pulling cessation grows even stronger. I can hear my bones creaking. I imagine my body flattening like a plant pancake. It's not a pleasant thought. <coughs> Oh, it's getting worse. I look at Suzaha. She has her eyes shut and her jaw clenched tight. I can no longer move. It feels like my back is glued to the wall. My vision begins to warp. And within my warping vision, the powder of light shifts through the colors of the rainbow. Still shifts through the color. I'm going to reread that. I'm sorry. And within my warping vision, the powder of light still shifts through the colors of the rainbow. It's strangely beautiful, like something out of a painting. And still, I keep falling. Where is it taking me? Through a tunnel in space-time? All I know is that I'm falling. Suddenly. Everything goes dark. I try to scream, but even my voice fail falls away. It doesn't even reach my own ears. It's gravity. There is an, inta there is an intense gravitational distortion behind me. And I'm still falling towards it. My vision slowly recovers. The smell of ozone fills my nostrils. Susa takes a deep breath and unfastens her seatbelt. <laughs> <sighs> I gulp for air. Did I really just travel through time? If so, then this is July 28th, the day Kurusu and I first met, the day I sent the first email. The day it all began. Suza takes out a digital watch. It's a fairly old-fashioned design. This is where an uninformed person would say, in Japanese, please. Suza sets the watch to the correct time, then hands it to me. The display reads 11.51. Nakabachi's presentation starts at 12. デリオ。オカリンおじさんはマキセクリスをマークして殺されるのを阻止して。お前は。サポートに回る。それと携帯を取り上げた理由と関係するけど、ここには7月28日現在のオカリンおじさんもいる。今世界に岡部凛太郎は二人いることになるのいい自分自身との接触は絶対避けて 
深刻なタイムパラドックスが発生する可能性があるからタイターが言っていたことと違うのあれは単なるフェイク情報 Come to think of it, Alpha Suza said the stuff she posted about the many worlds interpretation was fake too. Leo Kaida. Ja, Joe Kaishi. Oatara, Kono Time Machine Mine, Shugo, ne? Suza finishes her rush explanation and motions me toward the hatch. I open the hatch and grab the, grab the rim. I squeeze my way out. Suza crawls out after me and closes the hatch. Ojisawa Kakurete! Atashiko Torininaru. Suza runs up to the emergency door. And then, to my astonishment, she draws her gun and fires at the doorknob. The door opens easily. That must have broken the lock. Any minute now, A crowd of people will, will run up these stairs to see what happens. My past self will be among them. I need to hide before they get here! <laughs> Aw, man! You know, wait. You know what would have been funny? If just all of a sudden, like, it showed everyone running up to the roof, and Okabe was just, like, watching everyone as they're up on the roof, and Suza has to shoo them away as. As she's shooing them away, he sees his past self talking to Suza, like a character sprite of, him, of himself from the past, talking with Suza on the screen. Like, that would have been hilarious if they just showed a visual of himself in the past coming across Suza -ha in the, in, well, his, his past, yeah, his past self meeting up with present Suza -ha. That was a close one. I nearly bumped into myself on the eighth floor landing. Right after I ran downstairs to the seventh floor, I heard footsteps running the other way behind me. Those footsteps were mine, no doubt. It was a near miss. To be safe, I descend to the fourth floor before stopping to take a breath. I take a look around, but there's nobody paying attention to me. I wonder what Suzaha is doing. I'm worried, but I need to focus on my own mission. I must prevent Kurusu's death. In about 30 minutes from now, just after Nakanabachi's presentation ends, someone will murder her. I know where it happens. In the 8th floor hallway, towards the back of the building, where people rarely go. What I don't know is, who stabbed her? Instead of running around and drawing attention to myself, I should just wait and see. Let's cool off here for about 5 minutes. Then head over there. If I remember correctly, Kursu tried to talk to me in the assembly hall, but I blew her off and came down here. After that, I tried calling Mayuri, but her phone was off and I couldn't get through. So I went back up to the assembly hall to find her. What time was that? I searched my memories, trying to plot the actions I took on July 28th. It sounded simple when Suza said it. But staying away from my past self is going to take more work than I thought. Frustration mounts. I shove Suzaha's watch to my pocket and squash it. To squash it. Just then. Excuse me. That that voice. I turn around. クリス。私、あなたと面識ありましたいや。さっき、このビルの屋上から降りてきましたよね。She looks at me with those beautiful eyes, eyes shining with intelligence and strength of will. I thought I would never see her again. But now, Now, before my very eyes, is the girl I love. Tears well up in my eyes. I want to embrace her right this instant. It takes everything I have to resist the urge. 
don't forget, this is our first meeting. This curse who doesn't know me. Why did I have to run to the curse of all people? I can't answer. I'm afraid that if I speak, I'll be unable to contain my emotions. The memory of her last smile is burned into my mind, imploring me to act. Kursu looked at me with suspicion. What would happen if I were to grab Kursu and run? Would diversions change? Would her murder be averted? I recall all the times Mary died. I recall all the times I time leaped to save her. Everything I tried ended in vain. I was unable to save her even once. No matter what I did, the world itself killed her. Won't it be the same with Kurosu? Should I even try? I reached towards Kurosu, my hand shaking. She steps back in surprise and fear, clutching a manila envelope to her chest. This is our first meeting, I know that. But to me, she's still the girl I love. If I'd been thinking straight a second ago, I would have realized that my plan to grab her and flee wasn't going to work. Kurosu would never allow... Kurosu would never follow some strange man she just only met. Running isn't an option. All I can do is wait at the scene of the crime. Fanon gets the urge to stay, I force myself to turn and leave. A cursor pursues me. Why is she so desperate to know who I am? I do look suspicious, I'll admit that. But if she thinks I'm dangerous, why would she come alone? I turn around reluctantly and meet Kursu's stare. Can I really save you? The words catch my throat. Can I save her? I don't know. All I know is that Convergent. All I know is that Convergence is merciless and cruel, and that I am powerless to stop it. None this. I shake my head, then bolt for the stairs before Kurosu can react. When I make it back to the 8th floor, the presentation has already started. I peek in through the door of the assembly hall. Someone in the audience is shouting at Dr. Nakanabachi. And that someone is me. Now I remember, I confronted Dr. Nakanabachi in the middle of the pres uh, in the middle of his presentation. I called him a fraud for ripping off John Titus post. From this angle, I look like a real asshole. Staff members approach. <laughs> Damn, this is embarrassing. But there's nothing I can do here. I need to leave before Kursu appears. I turn around and head deeper into the dim passage. An image flashes through my mind. She was lying there, at the end of this passage, in a puddle of her own blood. 
20 minutes from now, that's exactly what will happen. Can I prevent it? I must. Whatever it takes. There's a pile of junk. Toolboxes, cardboard, and the like. About halfway down the passage, the perfect hiding spot, I crouch behind them. Now all I have to do is wait for a curse to show. But what will I do when she does? Only now do I realize that I'm completely unarmed. I really didn't think this through. Kursu was lying in a pool of blood. That means her killer had a weapon. Since I didn't hear a gunshot, it must have been a knife or something similar. How am I going to defend her and myself? Is there anything around here that might work as a weapon? I still have about 20 minutes. But one wrong move, and someone might catch me, I shouldn't leave the spot. Maybe I'm being overly cautious, but this is my only chance to prevent Curse's death. I don't want to jeopardize that. I don't know what I'd do if I ran into Curse again. It's a miracle that I managed to tear myself away last time. <sighs> the longer I wait in the darkness, the harder it becomes. The anticipation is killing me. So far, not a single soul has passed down this hallway. I can faintly hear Nakanabachi's voice through the mic from far away, but that's it. The silence does nothing but increase my tension. To make matters worse, it's hot and humid. I guess the air conditioner's not on back here. My entire body is stretched in sweat, and I haven't even been hiding for a minute. Sweat drips from my brow to the floor. I rub it out with my shoe. Oh. I have to keep waiting. There's no other choice. I stay there, crouched in the darkness, for what seems an eternity. In the distance, I hear the sound of sparse applause. I glance at Susa's watch. It's 1226. I guess the presentation's over. I peek out from behind the boxes. And just then... I hear footsteps approaching. I quickly duck back behind cover. My heart is pounding. Someone's coming this way. Who? Is it Curse's murderer? I clench my teeth and try to drive away the tension. I can only pray that I won't be found. Finally, the footsteps pass right by my hiding spot. Moving only my eyes, I sneak a glance at the person. Kursu? There's no one with her. I didn't expect Kursu to be the first to appear. What is she doing back here? This area is for employees only. Now that I think about it, Kursu's murder made no sense. Why was she killed in a place she would normally never come? Careful to keep quiet, I watch Kursu from the shadows. About five meters down the hall, she stops walking and leans against the wall. She's holding that manila envelope I saw with her earlier. She peeks inside and smiles softly. Why is she smiling? Kursu rarely smiles like that. I mean, it's more like her to glare at people. That envelope. I search my memories again. When Kursu approached me during Nakanabachi's presentation, I'm pretty sure she was holding that envelope. But did she have it when I discovered her body? I don't remember seeing it. What could be inside to make Kursu smile like that? I can't begin to imagine. Kursu hasn't moved a muscle. She's just standing there, head hung, her face hidden behind her long hair. I can't read her expression. Is she waiting for someone? Who? Who would she meet in a place like this?
That's when I hear another set of footsteps approaching. I can't see who it is from where I'm hiding. But given the timing, it has to be a person who killed Kurosu! Uh, and that's proof. Kurosu raises her head, and upon recognizing the newcomer, lifts her back off the wall. Her expression softens slightly. I'm gonna reread that, I'm sorry. That did not sound right to me. And it's proof. Kurosu raises her head, and upon recognizing the newcomer, lifts her back off of the wall. Her expression softens slight slightly. The footsteps come even closer. Who is it? Kurosu suddenly starts speaking. The footsteps pass right by my hiding spot. I'm so tense. I can't move a muscle. The newcomer finally appears in my narrow field of vision. And it's... <sighs> no! Dr. Nagatabachi! I slap a hand over my mouth to keep from shouting in astonishment. Kurosu and Dr. Nagabachi know each other? Something else occurs to me. Why would Kurosu, an accomplished scientist, attend the presentation of a man like Nagabachi? He's just a two-bit inventor. Only 15 people came to hear him speak, and that's including trolls like me. There wasn't even any press coverage. Besides, Kurosu hates time travel science. That much was obvious from her lecture at ATF. In that case, it's obvious why she's here. She didn't come to see his presentation. She came to see him. But why? What would be the connection? Wait... It can't be... <laughs> the strange father that Kurosu has mentioned several upon several times. The father this whole time was mother fucking Dr. Nakatabachi. Papa. He's her father. Her estranged father. Who she told me she hadn't seen in seven years. Kurzu did say that her father was a physicist. And Nakatabachi certainly is a physicist. Though, the scientific community at large has rejected his research. But wait, does this mean that Nagabachi killed his own daughter? Or was it someone else? Someone who has yet to appear? There's no way to know. If I could be sure that Nagabachi was the killer, then I would intervene right now. But I'm not. I better keep watching. See what happens. So Kursu wrote a paper on time travel? But when she spoke at ATF, she rejected the very idea of time travel. Although, come to think of it, she was awfully interested in the phone wave. Damn! I forgot how much of a suit there she was! Nagarabashi takes out the document and starts reading it with a disgusted frown. So that's what it was. She didn't have anything dangerous in that envelope, like drugs or a gun. It was just some document. But that raises a new question. 
Could that be the Nagarabachi paper? According to Suzuha, that document sparked a time travel arms race that ultimately led to World War III and the deaths of 5.7 billion people. EU and Russia are going to be a war of destruction. They are going to be a war of destruction. Is that why Kursu's safety is so important to changing divergence? I get it now. Nothing is coincidence. Everything is inedible. Nagarabachi flips restlessly through this through the document. He's not even trying to hide his irritation. ナナネンブリに連絡をくれて発表会を見に来いって言ってくれたでしょ。それがきっかけになったの。それで論文にまとめてみたら、もしかすると作れるかもしれないんじゃないかって思えるようになった。もしその論文が認められたら、学会を追
なのにあの妙な若造のせいで全て台無しだそしてお前がそんな私を見て鼻で笑っていたのも知っているぞどこまで親をバカにすれば気が済む笑ったなんてこの論文に意見が欲しいのか意見ならここで言ってやる Nagabachi rolls right over to Nagabachi rolls right over Curse's objections. It's like he doesn't even hear our voice. この論文は私の名前で発表する以上だ。まさかパパ盗むの？なんだと？私の論文盗むの？そんなことだけはしない人だって思っていたのに。ナガバチ、suddenly whirls, strikes Kurosu across the face. What do I do? Oh, I hit the camera. I know I should do something, but what? 誰に対して口を聞いておるのだ。Nagabachi throws the paper aside and seizes his daughter by the throat. Kursu gasps for air. Her face twists in pain as his grip tightens. Why do you want to show me what you know? Why do you want to show me what you know? Why do you want to show me what you know? Why do you want to show me? 私より優秀な人間などこの世にいてはならんのだわかるか屈辱なのだ娘が親より優秀でいい道理などない you have an ego problem, bitch. だから遠ざけた Fuck, なけば<笑>お前と親子だと思われるのが耐えられなかった I slightly forgot how much of a prick Nakabashi was お前がいたせいでお前のせいで。This is completely absurd! He's blaming her for his own failures? I've seen enough. He's the killer for sure. I burst from my hiding spot. よせ <laughs> I ram him with my shoulder as hard as I can, knocking him away from Kursu. Kursu gasps for breath. なんだお前はクリスは殺させない I'm going to save c u r s I'm going to save her and change the future Even a weakling like me can pin down an old man like Nakanabachi Then I can get Suza to call the police and The memory of c u r s u s body flashes through my mind No! It won't turn out like that Setting himself with one hand against the wall, Nakanabashi gets to his feet and looks straight at me. The instant our eyes meet, his face twists in rage. His presentation? Right, of course. I called him out on his lies in the middle of his presentation. Nakanabachi is mistaking me for my past self. Understand? Since we look exactly the same. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. He's delusional! You're not going to do it. Nagabachi glares at me with bloodshot eyes, then takes something out of his pocket. At first, I can't tell what it is, but then I see it glint in the dim light. A knife. The blade is about 20 centimeters long. I can't help but shiver at its cold shine. Why is he even carrying something like that? Is he completely insane? Wait. Is that the weapon that killed Kurosu? I won't let that happen! Damn! Why is my brain so fixated on that scene? 
私をバカにするな Nagabachi charges like an enraged roll. Not a roll. <laughs> Nagabachi charges like an enraged bull with no sign of hesitation whatsoever. He raises his knife high. <coughs> I instinctively dodge back. The knife misses me by a hair. He gathers himself for another strike. The sight of his face, twisted in madness and rage, fills me with terror. I want to scream. He's going to kill me! No, don't be afraid. I can't die here. The past is already decided. But wait, if the past is already decided, then doesn't that mean I can't save Kurosu? I shake off the thought. Just think about saving her. I am money! <laughs> Swallowing my fear, I force myself to stop running away. Instead, I lunge forward. I knock Nagabachi's hand aside. The knife falls from his grip and clatters to the floor. I leap on it and pick it up. That was easier than I expected. I look up in surprise. Nagabachi has taken a screwdriver from a toolbox left in the passage. Kurosu is walking towards him. Pleading with him to stop. She's completely defenseless. No! Kurzu! Stay away from him! You're the one in danger, not me! Just when I thought I disarmed him, you find something else! Even a screwdriver can kill with enough force behind it! Kurzu! Get up! Kurzu glances at me, but she doesn't move. Why won't she run away? Papa! Papa! Nagabachi has completely lost his mind. Nothing she can say will reach him. Nagabachi turns to Kurosu, brandishing his screwdriver. But Kurosu still doesn't run away. Blood spurts from the arm Kurosu used to guard her face. She's going to die! I have to do something! I grip the knife firmly in my hands. Kurosu won't die if I kill Nakanabachi first. That image again! Stop getting in my way! I won't be tied to that past! I need to do this to change the future to save Kurosu. As Nakabachi raises, raises his arm for another blow, I, th I thrust my knife at his unprotected back. <laughs> Through the knife, my hand feels resistance. The sensation of tearing through flesh, scraping bone. It's surprisingly tough, but at the same time, I feel the I feel the flesh pulsating. It shifts in time with my victim's breath. Uh, uh, uh. Stabbed. I stabbed. None. I I can't believe my eyes. What happened? I tried to stab Nagabachi. The blade should have pierced his back. And yet, at the last minute, Kurosu forced herself between us. As if, as if to protect Nakanabachi. <laughs> Strength drains from Kurosu's body. She slumps against me, her head on my shoulder. Bakatomonyaosashimatsuroda. <laughs> Oh.
laughing maniacally. Nagrabachi picks up the drop thesis and runs to the elevator at the far end of the hall. I can't chase him. I know what's going to happen if I don't stop him, but I can't take a single step. Is this, is this the joke? <laughs> is this the punchline? I wanted to know who killed Kursu. And now... <laughs> Kursu speaks. Her voice is barely a whisper. I feel something wet on my hands. What? And warm. Blood. Curse is blood. Gushing from her wound. It's warm, but not hot. And yet, it feels like it's burning my hands. I try to pull the knife out. If I can stop the bleeding, maybe she'll be okay. But my hands won't move. It's like they've turned to stone. My arms? My fingers? No matter how hard I try, they won't move an inch. <laughs> Kursu's breathing quickly grows labored. She's suffering. I didn't mean for this to happen. This isn't what I wanted. Why won't my hands move? I want to pull out the knife. I want to ease her pain. Why won't my body obey me? It's as if someone else is in control. Curse whose body convulses against mine. The pain must be unbearable. Is there nothing I can do to help her? I want to cry. Toast. <laughs> Only thing I can do is ask. あれでも父親だから私認められたかったパパに認めて欲しくて いつも勉強でも今さら分かったパパは私なんて認めたくなかっただかみたいよね<笑> Her voice is fading fast. Don't die. Please don't die on me. But my prayers are in vain.
Her body suddenly grows heavy. I can no longer hear the sound of her breathing. And yet, the blood from her room is, wound is still warm. I killed her. I killed her. The one who killed Kersu was me. <laughs> As I scream, another me looks down from above. As he sound, as he hears the sound of my despair, the last piece of the puzzle clicks into place. The scream I heard on that day was my own. Someone pulls on my arm. I I feel my head. I feel. I feel hands slip under my shoulders and drag me away. The knife in my hands pulls free of Kurosu's chest. A fresh torrent of blood fall falls in it. Still warm. Please. Meo. あげてくれよ。起きろよ。しっかりして、おじさん。今すぐここを離れないと人が来ちゃう。ごめん。殺すつもりなかった。俺は助けよう。Someone puts my arm over their shoulder and hauls me to my feet, then drags me away step by step. I don't have the strength to resist. Guilt and regret are the only things inside of me. I killed Kurosu. Twice. I feel someone push me hard from behind. Next, they take the knife away. My fingers are like solid rock. They have to be pried open one by one. I failed to save Kursu. Worse, Convergence made me kill her. The past has already been decided. It was impossible to change it from the start. We failed to save Kurosu. And thus, we need to put the lab coat up for good. Our failure has led to the timeline to go towards the outcome of World War Three, And thus, ends this series of Steins Gate. Thank you everybody for watching, and next week, I shall begin the sequel to this game, Steins Gate Zero. The story of the timeline where Okabe failed, and the world will soon plunge into World War III due to the demise of Makase Kurosu. And 
the Nakanabachi pa Papers being released to the world. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time in Steins Gate Zero. Okay, okay.